Are you down and out? Are you feeling rejected and dejected? Is shame close by and sorrow just around the corner? Cheer up! So it was for Jabez and Hannah and Sarah and Elizabeth and Jephthah and Mary. But one day, just one day, their stories changed. Today is your own day of change. Today is your day. Today, we begin a series titled, Come, Fly with the Eagles. You don't know how far you can fly until you spread your wings. Come fly with the eagles is an invitation from God to take us from the dejected, rejected ground level to a higher level. God takes us from the ground and transforms us from glory to glory and from level to level. The eagle is a symbol of the strength that God wants to give to us and the height that God wants to take us to. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Friends, you will fly as the eagles. You will never fly as the crabs, not as uh, the parrot, not as a uh, uh, vulture, and definitely not as crabs. I was told that if you gather some crabs and put them in a bucket overnight, none of them will escla escape. The reason is simple. Each one that tries to escape will be pulled down by others. You will not be pulled down in life. You will not have to pull others down. You will definitely not have to join cults in order to survive in life. The sky is your limit. Come therefore and let us fly with the eagles. The eagle is one of the largest and most powerful birds on earth. They are very proud birds and very courageous. The eagle is so powerful and courageous that this eagle can pull down a sloth from tree branches or even pluck and pick a goat from the high mountains.
eagle is a symbol of freedom and power they are the king of the birds and the symbols of conquerors it can fly and soar to incredible heights of about 25,000 feet above sea level competing with aeroplanes and it can dive down at its prey at speeds as fast as up to 150 to 200 kilometers per hour you will fly high in life and then you will become the envy of your generation it all begins with a process called renewal a day that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength probably the single most impressive quality of the ego is his remarkable ability to renew his strength a time come in the life of every ego that it becomes old slow and sluggish the wing feathers begin to give up a telltale sound and this sound can warn off the prey to dodge the attack the talons become very blunt and the beaks also become calcified it looks like the king of the sky is about to retire but the eagle will always do a remarkable thing he will fly to a high mountain for a process of rejuvenation firstly it begins to pluck off the feathers and remove every feather from his body until it becomes so bald afterwards he locates a stream up in the high mountain and washes off the lies and the parasites the filth and the mock of death of his body fresh and clean the eagle faces the sun and awaits for 40 days for a regrowth maybe you feel depressed dejected and rejected maybe you feel defeated smiles have gone and the confidence are faded why don't you do as the ego get to a high mountain of reappraisal and begin to pluck off those little little foxes that spoil the vines get rid of those negative patterns negative ideas and negative thoughts strip yourself naked before god learn a lesson from your mistakes and bounce back to life i was told of the story of a woman that was blessed with, by god with long teeth this woman gave back to a wonderful child and as she was singing for her child the teeth struck the child and the child died a few months later this woman became pregnant again and got another child and this time the woman carried this a child this side carried her teeth this side and began to sing what happened to me the first time will not happen to me a second time thunder they say don't strike at the same place twice learn a lesson from your previous mistakes and bounce forward while awaiting the regrowth of his feathers the eagle hones his beak to and, the, and, and, and sharpens his talons to lethal sharpness again the eagle is now ready to face the world a powerfully dangerous bird a bird to strike fear in the heart of every serpent emerges it flies soars sweeps swoops surveys his domain and declare that the king is back again perhaps there is need for you to repair your dream maybe you have hit the ceiling or you have leveled down at the plane it is time for you to take a vacation and be renewed renewal means throwing away what you have for what you need renewal is an exchange exchange your weakness for strength exchange your failures for success exchange your barrenness for fruitfulness 
in this season my God will walk a walk of exchange in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you know fatigue make cowards of all men reevaluate your goals and work on your character spend some time to renew yourself again you will swear like the eagle that you are with new life new strength and new joy for living fly up to the high mountains my friend resharpen your skills and presentation attack life better than ever attack life as the eagle please don't go away i will be back in a moment Covenant International School, CIS, 4 Okilwe Street, off Mabusi Road, Asaba. Admission is currently going on in Covenant International Nursery and Primary School, Asaba. Covenant International School is a co-educational nursery and primary school with a divine mandate to raise children in the image of God through academic excellence and spiritual prowess. Admission is on into crutch, daycare, play classes, KG classes and primary. Bring your child into Covenant International School to be raised in the image of God. At Covenant International School, we'll raise your child in the fear of God and bring your child to discover his or her purpose in life. By the time your child will finish in Covenant International School, the child is already modeled for excellence in life. Covenant International School, number 4 Okilwe Street, off Mabisi Road, Asaba await that child that must be great in life signed management welcome back the eagle is a bird of vision it flies high job chapter 39 and verses 27 to 29 describes the eagle as a bird that sees far and attacks his prey the eagle has a remarkably developed eyesight and binocular vision. So great is the eagle's power of vision that it can locate any prey within five miles area with great accuracy. They see so well that they can distinguish colors, a phenomenon that is very rare in the animal kingdom. It is a simple fact of life that the higher you fly, the higher you can see and be seen. The eagle flies high, sees far and achieves much. What you see set the pace for what you can possess. God said unto Abraham in Genesis chapter 13 and verses 14 to 15. Lift up now thy eyes eastward, westward, northward, southward, for all the places that you see, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. What you see determines what you can possess. What you see predicts what God is able to give to you. Abraham did not have to climb a mountain neither did he have to climb a tree all he did was to allow his imagination to soar to see all the countries that god wanted him to see when your mind therefore can see farther than your eyes it is called vision allow your imagination to soar once you catch a vision of a glorious future then you begin to fly with the eagles. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch. I will set me upon the towers. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me. Grammatically it is not correct. You don't say I will see what somebody says. You don't see what somebody says. You only hear what somebody says. But scripturally, when you begin to see what someone is saying, it is called vision. You are seeing the scriptural picture of a glorious future. 
Vision sees the invisible, believes the incredible, and achieves the impossible. So run to the high mountains, run to the towers, and like Abakuk, and see a vision of your future. When you are able to see what your future holds, then it will enhance you and engrace you to run to possess it. To fly with the eagles, you must be a man of vision. If you can see it, you will possess it. A dynamic life is fired and powered by vision. Vision is the comprehensive sense of where you are, where you are going, how you will get there, and what you will do when you eventually get there. The poorest man on earth is not a man without money. It's just a man without a vision. Without vision, you are playing game with your destiny. Vision is seeing the picture of destiny and painting your own part of it. Vision can be called a dream. Joseph dreamt many times that he, he will become a king despite the fact that he was not a prince. Yet, his dream took him to the throne. Martin Luther King did not have money, but he had a dream, said, I have a dream that one day man will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. He had a dream and he was bold and courageous enough to voice it out. And that dream has come to pass today. A black man rules America. In the name of Barack Obama you are as big as your dream for as a man thinketh in his heart so is he you cannot dream of catching rats and end up catching lions Oshewa. the gate has more money than they can count but it all began with a small dream of Microsoft Vision gives you an empire in your brain that you release on earth with careful planning. Vision can also be called imagination. Imagination is one of the most powerful instruments that God ever gave to man. Do you know you can imagine visiting Barack Obama in America without visa in your head? The power of imagination is so great that the man named Nimrod in Genesis chapter 11 began to imagine that he will build a tower whose roof will reach up to heaven. He was preparing to go to heaven without being righteous. Each time he wants to go and visit God, he wants to just climb the, the tower and shake hands with God. And the Bible said he was going to do it. For nothing shall be withheld from them which they have imagined to go. That's what God said. Genesis 11 and verses. God has given us this our outer eyes to help our inner eyes. What you see creates a desire in you. If you can see it long enough, then you will desire it and you can possess it. And that is the single principle of advertisement. They begin to show it line by line, often and often, so that it can get into your heart and your desire will be strong to possess it. The greatest tragedy in life is to have eyes and sight without vision. We need visionaries who can embark on high-risk ventures History is full of them and we are the better for it. Develop vision like the ego and soar to highs untold. Dream dreams. Allow your imagination to soar as the ego and fly to great heights in life. But there are places you will stand in life that you will not be able to see opportunity and opportunity will not be able to see you. There are places you will go that will obstruct your vision. 
Things will only change when you change your position. There is a story in the Bible of a man called Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19. This man wanted to see Jesus Christ. He had a vision to see Jesus. But his vision was obstructed because there were people that have gone ahead of him. While he was standing behind them, he looked like a dwarf. In every business in life, there are those who have gone ahead of you. There are those people who have achieved so much, we call them the trailblazers. We call them the men of timbers and calibers in the industry. It looks like these people have taken all the successes that is available and you may not be able to succeed again. Things will only change for you when you change your position. What did Zacchaeus do? Zacchaeus ran ahead, he climbed a sycamore tree and from there it was his turn. Jesus got to the sycamore tree and said, Zacchaeus come down. Today, I will dine in your house. The man that was pushing to see Jesus became the man that they were pushing to see. When you change your position, things will definitely change for you. Find the sycamore tree of destiny and climb. Today, only if you dare to become a man with a vision, one who has the courage to dream, the ability to organize, and the strength to execute the actions necessary. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagle. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Today is your day. Who you are determines what you can do. Your nature places a limit on your capability and your capacity. Who gives back to you determines who they call you. You cannot be a chicken and fly with the eagles. Until you are born again, you are gambling with your destiny. If today, therefore, you want to give your life to Jesus, why don't you close your eyes and say these words after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. Save me. Forgive me all my sins. And wash me with your blood. From today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. It is done. And congratulations. I believe you have been blessed by this unique broadcast. God sent me to put smiles on the faces of men and joy in their hearts with the word. If you want to contact us, our addresses are on the screen. You can worship with us in any of our branches. You can come to Fork Lewis Street, that's the headquarters of Royal Pursuit Divine Assembly, or go to Okpanam and locate our branch there, or go across the express. We have a branch there. You can, if you are in Agbo, we have a branch there, or in Akure, we have a branch there. Worship with us today, and your life will take a new turn. God will turn the sadness of your heart into joy for you. God will remove the frowns from your face and turn it to smiles for you. God loves you and so do I. Today is your day. Any of these Pastor Sam or Nitiri Christian books at the Royal Priesthood Convenant Bookshops. Satan is too small. This book explains the weakness of devil and gives you advantage over the devil. Here and thereafter, this book talks about what happens on earth and what will happen after death. Only wisdom. This book tells you why God's wisdom is very important in all that you do. Get your copy today and be inspired with the wisdom from God.